hello today i'm going to talk about lambda functions and i'm also going to compare between these lambda functions and a standard function to understand more about in depth in these lambda functions and i'm also going to talk about why these functions are useful and where to use these type of functions so i'm going to talk all of that in this video so at first let us have two columns so I'm going to talk about functions at this place. So, so at th at this column, I'm going to talk about standard functions. And right here, I'm going to talk about lambda functions. And so let's compare between this standard function and this lambda functions. So at first let's talk about this standard function. So how to create that? So to create that, you need to first define this function, like defining a function name. So this function will take certain arguments. It can be one or it can be many. So let this take argument one and argument 2 and argument 3 and so on and this function does have statements it can be one statement or many number number of lines of statements so i'm having a comment statements it can be printing this argument value argument 1 argument 2 and it can be argument or more than argument 2 so this is one kind of statement so after several statement like triple dot so this means that several statements And finally, this function will return some value. So this function returns some value. So now, I'm going to have certain return value. You know, this function is going to return some value. So I'm, I need to store this value inside some variable. So I'm going to create some type of variable for that. So let us have variable which is going to store return value. So after that, I need to call this function. So you can directly provide its name and right here you can provide certain argument like argument one, argument two and many arguments. So this is how you can create some, you can call some function and make sure you need to create function at this first place and after that you can able to call that and you can provide certain argument value at this place and all this corresponding argument value goes to this corresponding argument. It can be positional or it can be a keyword and after that this is this function is going to do certain statements and finally this is going to return some value and that value is going to store in this variable so coming to this lambda function right here i need to provide i need to have a function so actually this is behaving as certain variable but actually it is a function and after that you need to have this keyword so this is a keyword and we know that some functions take this many type of argument so you need to provide at this place so what this function 
is going to take like it can be an argument right so you need to provide that argument at this place uh, it is argument 1 argument 2 and so on and finally this function this lambda function is going to return some value so that will be present at this place so this can be any type of equation like addition of all this argument or it is it can be printing some argument values and so after that so how to call this type of function so to call that you can directly call this function and after that you know this function is going to take this many arguments so that many argument values you need to place it here like this argument is taking some value like argument value 1 for this argument 1 and argument value 2 for this argument 2 and so on so this is about this lambda functions and how to call this lambda functions so this is how you can call a standard function so let us create some functions so I'm going to use this python file and right here let's create let us start creating a lambda function a small function so you know this will be a function actually it is a variable but it is going to behave as a function and I'm going to use this keyword and this function doesn't take any type of argument so I'm providing this empty space and so this function will return some type of value like x some list like list having some value starting from 0 and stops at a value 10 so I'm providing increment value and you know this function will return some value like this does you know this function will return this value and not only that this function doesn't take this function will not take any type of argument so I have provided this and this as empty like not having any type of argument right here and not providing any type of argument values so let's check this return value you see I'm having this list this means that this function will return this value and which is not going to take any type of argument and what if this function takes some type of argument so let's provide that argument like argument single argument and let us add that argument with this value x and this is not a default so because of that you need to provide a value at this place like it can be 100 and let's check this value you see I'm having this range starting from this 100 you know this will have you know this is going to provide starting from 0 to 10 so 0 plus 100 is 100 and 100 plus 1 is 101 and it keeps on going and finally it is comes at this place so it is happening and not only that we can provide as many argument as you like like argument one so you can provide any type of name you needed at these arguments and so this is taking two arguments so you you definitely need to provide those those many argument and also so that is because these two are not default and let this be again 100 and let us add this argument 1 at here and you see here you see here I am starting from this 200 and stops at this value so that is happening otherwise so let us provide certain defaults default arguments like let this argument 1 has some default value as let it be 100 and let us not provide this 100 value for this argument 1 
and let us check this value so I'm getting the same result so you can actually create some type of default arguments for these lambda functions and if suppose you're not providing value for this argument let's check what will happen so I'm getting this type error which is saying that this function is missing one positional argument that is this is a positional argument so we need to provide one value for this positional argument otherwise let us also make this as a default like having a value 100 so you are going to get this result so you can also create this type of default arguments and what if you are providing this default argument at this first place and this non-default argument at the second place so what will happen so I'm getting this syntax error which is saying that this is a non-default argument and this is a default argument and so this happens because right here you can see this non-default argument is actually following this default argument so I'm getting this syntax error so you need to you need to have a syntax right to have to create this type of lambda functions so you need to place some default argument right here and in other words make sure this default argument follows this non-default argument so right here this non-default argument is actually following this default argument make sure this default argument must follow this non-default argument so that is because we should not get any type of syntax error and you can have this default argument right here so everything is nice and not only that you can actually print these two values like argument and this argument 1 so I'm having these two values and what about this you know this print function is going to return a value none so at this place I'm actually having a value none so at first this print function is going to print these two values but actually at this place this function this print function is actually going to return a value none and that value is coming at this place so I'm having that value So this is about this lambda functions and I can have let us have some different example like you suppose I am having some standard function and this function takes some argument and this is going to return this lambda function so this lambda will take two argument like l argument 1 and lambda argument 2 and this will be some simple statement like addition of these two arguments and not only that this will be let this multiply with this argument of this standard function so this is quite helpful because sometimes we might require this to be changing so you are going to understand that like if suppose I am having this lambda function and let it be lambda function 1 and I'm going to have this I'm going to call this standard function so this function will take certain argument let this be 10 otherwise let let this be a value 2 and you know at this place I'm actually getting this value and only right here I'm actually having a value 2 so this and this will be the same because you know 
indirectly this function is returning this value so because of that in place of this I am actually having this value and I am actually changing this value inside this equation and let's print so this is a lambda function and this is going to take two arguments so these two are not default so you need to provide direct values a positional argument values if you are not provide if you are not providing its values I will get this missing required positional argument so this is saying that this lambda function is actually taking these positional arguments a type of arguments so let this be one so argument one is one and argument two is also one and let's check this value so one plus one is two so two multiplied with a number two and you can also have this right here so instead of two I will have a value 5 and let's print this value so you see I am having 2 plus 2 is actually number 2 and 2 multiplied with a 5 is 10 so this is quite helpful and I am having this type of example in some document so open this shell and go to this document and click on this tutorial and go to this flow tools and finally I'm getting this thing and here I, again I'm having this type of result same example I have talked now and main thing here is I'm having this simple example so this basic example tells everything about these lambda functions and that is quite helpful and this is not a simple function it is a small anonymous function and which is created by this keyword so this lambda is a keyword and this keyword is having must follow this type of syntax and since that is a keyword you can also use you can also get its document So right here I'm going to use this help and I'm having these many types so I'm going to look at these keywords so this is the list of Python keywords and among that I'm having this lambda and let's write that so I'm having this thing and this So I'm having the same document right here so this will take certain parameters a positional only parameters so they are said as they have said this as a parameters so why they have said that one and to know about that go to this Python 3.8 and these new features and I'm having this example and here I'm having these parameters like you see I'm having these parameters a and b which are these positional only parameters so this happens because this a and b is present before this slash so that might that might be a reason why they have said this as a parameter like you know these two these a and b are parameters so this is about this lambda functions like which is taking this many argument and it is somehow it is going to do certain statement a single line statement or certain equation in this line and that value will be a return value and this variable is actually a type of a function and let us also check so instead of printing this value 
let's check what is the value for this lambda function and let us also do that right here so you can keep different variable name it is not compulsory that you need to provide some different name for this return for this function name and let's check what is the value and it is saying this is a function and so it is having so this is actually calling this function and this function does have this function this lambda keyword and if suppose you are making some standard function If suppose I am having some standard function which is not having any which is not going to take any type of argument which is having this pass and if suppose I am printing this only this function name you see I am having this function and this function is present at this address and in the same way right here I am having this function so this is one function and this function is present at this address. and this function does have some local and you have this doc this dot so in this local so this is a type of local and this local is a type of this standard function so that is the so we can understand by this dot operator so i think that is for today and i have talked about this functions and how we can relate with this lambda functions and why they are useful so they are useful because it we can create certain function within a single line not only that we this variable is actually a function and which is taking this many argument and which is going to return some single line statement or it can be some equation and that comes at this place like at here when you are calling this function and another thing we can note here we are actually understanding about these brackets like you know when I'm when I am going to call any type of function we have to provide this bracket and right here indirectly this is a function we can actually say that because even if, if you are comparing this with a standard function if you are having only the name of this function not having these brackets like this does you know this is actually some type of variable and to understand that let us have many functions like this like def function 1 which is having this pass again and let us have some list and this list is going to have this two functions like function one function and this function one and let's print this list and you see I'm having these two functions but actually right here this is not actually a function which is this is acting as some type of variable and I'm going to talk about this in later videos why this why these functions actually behaves as some type of variable and one example is that we have this lambda functions like some function is behaving as some variable is behaving as some type of function so this is a great example to understand why some variables behaves as a function so that is for today and see you again bye bye